Hi everyone, welcome back to Budget with V. Today's video will be a bit of a cash um, unstuffing and condensing video. I just want to make sure that we don't have too much cash um, in our envelopes when we could be putting it in our account to offset our mortgage. So I'm going to replace some of the money with some placeholders. I've got some of these lovely placeholders from Budget with Sass, um, <laughs> as well as some I've made myself. I was meant to clean this off before <laughs> starting filming this, but I couldn't be bothered getting up <laughs> again. <laughs> so I'll do that um, off camera another time. But um, yes, so I've got those. And I've got some spare ones over here. You probably can't see um, as well if needed, but I think these are the ones I need. We'll see. So um, the first place I want to start is my 100 envelope. So in here, uh, we have, I don't know if I should unstuff some of the coins. No, I'll leave them. So we have 51, 52, 53, 350, 370. I'm going to unstuff all of this. So I'm going to bring in my tray, hopefully you can see that. Um, I'm going to take this and I'm going to cross that back out and put 370 and I'll fix it, like I said, after. So that's 370. And the reason I'm using this, um, one is that we will be spending some of this cash soon on the passport and I'll just take that off the, of this total so we can keep the actual amount. I hope that makes sense. But there's 392 total in here and we're taking out 370 of that. Cool, so that's done. And then I'm going to use some of this cash to then um, be able to unstuff some of my other envelopes. I'm just going to move that there. Hopefully that's better. So, um, where should we start? We'll start in here. This is my like everyday expenses one. I don't think there should be too much in here, but we'll have a look. So gifts. Oh, I need to write down as I go. I'm just going to take out a spare bit of paper and write where everything is from so that I don't get confused. So 370 from travel slash 100 envelope. Gifts, that just has the 25, we'll leave that. Home is empty. Garden has 25, coffee has five. Date night is empty. We've spent some of the money in here. Um, clothes, bulk. Oh, bulk's empty because they had a deal on at Woolworths where you spent a certain amount um, for two weeks and you got $20 back. So I used some of the bulk to, to buy some extras at Woolworths so I could get a free $20, which I did get. So I'm excited. Um, roll the dice does have 30 in it, but we'll leave that. Back to bank is full. Uh, oh, there's my new envelopes from... Um, planning for reality. So I've got Josh's savings, holiday spending, sport, Josh's birthday. So none of them need um, stuffing. So that's fine. What else? Um, this is long term. So I'm going to be putting, so this is the 100,000. 100,000, no, 1,000 savings binder from the Art of Budgeting. And I've just taken out the um, other challenges and the front cover. And I'm going to make this binder my long term. And then each time, I think I'll show you. So I've got the dashboard of each challenge there. And I've got future bills in here. And I've got one of the challenges. So as each of these fill up, like if I finish this, I'm going to swap it out for a new challenge here. And this 
envelope, which envelope it goes into might change too. But future bills is going to get, has this $300 just in case one for planning for reality. Um, I hope that makes sense. It might be. So basically this, this one feeds into this challenge. Uh, that has 55, so I can't really do much with that. Oh, Christmas. Christmas has 51, 52. So I'm going to take out $200 and add a $200 placeholder in there. Let me write that down. Okay, holiday. Doesn't have enough tech. Home improvements. We did take some of this money out. Um, to spend today 50 60 70 dollars left in there we just need a new light um, globe and vacuum cleaner bags but then we got the wrong ones <laughs> so we have to go back but that's okay pet emergency has 120 i'm gonna actually take out 100 of it and put in a $100 placeholder. So we have 120 in there now, still. So that's 100 for our pet emergency. And then emergency fund is all placeholders. So that's all good. Um, then I've got my savings binder. I don't think there would be anything in here. Let me have a look. So no, 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 no. How much is in wedding? Because I'll have to pay for things online rather than in cash. Um, I might leave that for now. I might take it out soon. Um, birthday. No, no, no. Nothing's coming out of this one. And then finally, oops, we've got um, the new baby savings, future baby savings binder. And in here, we have. 100, 270. Um, one, sorry, 200. What should I do? Should I take out $200 and leave 70 or 250? I might leave $70 in there and take out this $200. Yep, so $200 out of baby, future baby. So then we need a $200 placeholder. And then we have $270. So I love having the cash here, but it is just better to have a little bit more in the bank when it gets to a certain point. I don't like having too much cash, particularly because even though it doesn't feel like much, when you add it up between them, it is quite a bit. So that should be 370 plus 200, so 570 plus 100, 670. Whoa, $870. Jeez, that's way more than I expected. Okay, let's have a look. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 870. All right, so that's right. So I will be taking this back to the bank. What I might do is my next cash stuffing is for in three days time. So I'm gonna work out what denominations I need and leave the denominations that I do need 
um, here, but then put the rest back in the bank. I hope that makes sense. But yeah, so I'm glad that that's done now. Um, I hope you enjoyed this short little video. It was pretty satisfying to see all this money that we've saved. Um, it's definitely way more than you realize, I think. Um, but yeah, I do like having it in cash, but like I said, there's still quite a bit of cash in here. So it's fine. <laughs> all right. I'll talk to you next time, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.